Hello, this is Wampire. Okay, so two things that I want to talk in this video. The first one is with the with the knife, make sure you use a training knife, downwards diagonal. Okay, so boom, boom. And I think this is very obvious where people know that you could get quite a bit of power in here, right? You go boom, boom. Now the other thing is, well, what about in Filipino martial arts, we also have going the opposite direction, which is an upwards diagonal. So this way, this way. One, two, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And for me, I could tell you that upwards diagonal is just as powerful than downwards diagonal, if not even more so. Okay. And here, I'd like to show you, boom. That's pretty powerful. And then going this way too, very powerful. Okay. So. We start with the sticks, we transfer that to empty hand. We also transfer to the knife, right? So same idea, so ish, ish, okay. I can tell you, it feels pretty powerful to me. So just something for you guys to practice and try out and see for yourself, okay? The next thing is the chain punch versus the chain saw. So the chain punch is what they do in Wing Chun. Now keep in mind, I am not a Wing Chun expert. This is just based on my observations and studies. So they punch, they keep their hands in the center line, okay? Versus the chainsaw is the way we do it. Right hand stays on the right side, left hand stays on the left side, okay? So then we're not going here, we're going boom, boom, right here, boom, boom, boom. And you can see when I'm throwing these shots here, when I bring my arm back, not I keep my arm where it is, and I just turn my body back to the center, you can see that my left arm is still, does not pass my center line, it's still on the left side. It's just when I punch, I'm turning, so I'm able to hit or cross their center line, but I don't cross my own, okay? What's the difference, okay? The difference here is, in our method, right hand and left hand, they stay separate. Why? And I said for you guys, because when you're holding weapons like this, I want to be as safe as possible. So I can go as hard as I want, bam, 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 as hard and as fast as I want, and it's super safe. I know I'm not going to be in trouble, but if I try this way, I'm going to clip my own hand, weapons are going to bang into each other, it's dangerous to me. Now, I'm not saying that Wing Chun people don't know how to do a chain punch with their weapons. I'm sure they have their own techniques because they train with butterfly swords. So they definitely have a way to do it. Uh, a lot of the times on, online, I don't see techniques for it. But I'm sure, you know, there are people that figured it out because, you know, that's what people do. We figure stuff out. We're intelligent, you know. So anyway, all I'm saying is... On the surface right there, you're going to have to modify. You, can, you can't just do this because you will destroy your hands, okay? So we keep them separate. But then how do you charge in against the, uh, an opponent, especially if you're empty-handed? Well, we go boom, boom, boom. We run in like that. So we are turning and turning and turning and turning. Is this slower than this? Yes, it is slower, but it's more powerful. So I'm not saying one's better than the other, it's just pros and cons, okay? So I know, and I'm not here to judge them. They do their things their way, and they understand that. I study my way, and I know that I can go with two weapons if I had to, or even just one weapon, and I know I can go as fast and as powerful as I want, and I'm safe, okay? And if I am just going to go without weapons, I'm still doing the exact same thing. That's the one system method. Keeps it simple. And I could still chase the opponent down. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.